Hey everybody, it's Infinity Break coming at you today with yet another mod review. Now before I begin, I just wanted to say Happy Fourth of July to everybody. To all of you who live in America, Happy Independence Day, and to those of you who don't live in America, I hope you're having a nice day regardless of wherever you're at. Uh, today we are going to be going over the special mod Clockwork uh, by Anastar. This is a wonderful, wonderful little quest and new location mod that is added into Skyrim Special Edition and Skyrim Legendary Edition. It's an awesome mod that adds a new location to the game that you can go to that has a unique little quest attached to it where you fight unique enemies in a unique environment with a really interesting narrative. So today I'm going to be going over basically what the mod is, what it does, what it adds into your game, what I recommend it, the quality of the mod, and were there any issues I had with it. So stick around while I go over those real quick. So Clockwork is an interesting and very well done mod that actually goes for a couple of different themes when it comes to not only exploration, but horror and really just interesting and well written narrative. I, I don't know how else to describe this mod other than a really well done mixed package of really strong genres. The horror one is definitely, definitely there. What's on your mind? Sophia, help me. Sophia, help me no. Oh no. I just Oh god. Oh god, this is getting terrifying. What is this? Sometimes. Sometimes I get to thinking. What is it? Why don't oh. you come away? No. I'm going to bite. I'm going to bite your face. Come away with me. I'm sentry. Ah! Ah, ah. Was there something you wanted? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Imagine if I was dragging Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it really creeped me out going through this mod because I wasn't expecting it to be horror. I was expecting it to be a puzzle mod with you know a place called clockwork. You're expecting moving pieces, gears, other such things. But it's actually a lot darker than that. It's just this this manor that's filled with these interesting people called the Gilded, and I'm not really going to get into the story of it too much, but I, what I can say is that holy cow, this story, and the gameplay, and the narrative, and the voice acting, and everything that's in this mod, the quality of it is really, really well done. But yes, the story basically starts off with you getting attacked by this sort of random person. You assume he's a bandit or a looter of some sort, as he has this note on him that kind of tells him to go to the Velothi Mountains between Skyrim and Morrowind. So you, being curious, go to the place itself, go into the cave that is mentioned in the note, and you find this mysterious spirit that really, really creeped me out. And for the first time in a while, I actually screamed while playing this mod, and I thought it was hilarious looking back on it in the footage. Uh, but yes, no, this spirit is tied to clockwork itself, I thought it was a one-off thing, but everything kind of comes together the more you uncover about this mod. You discover this manor filled with these people, or should I say, these two people that are called uh, the Gilded. Uh, well, at least their race is. It's kind of like these people, when, they're, when you refer to this person as a Dark Elf or an Orc or whatever, these are Gilded, and they're kind of machines, and they do go into the origin and how these machines work, and why they're so... I suppose you could say animate, like they're real people. But yes, everything like that is covered in this mod. It's really creative, it's really interesting, it's really well done. They really thought everything through, and the voice acting and everything behind it is just awesome. So I would definitely recommend it for not only an interesting story, but really good quality. As for what this mod adds into the game, it adds a new set of quests that you complete one by one in a successive kind of DLC order. Um, each quest is always related, there is no side quest, it's all one big quest. Uh, you get a couple of unique uh, different types of enemies and a new player home uh, But that's really it. It's not super expansive But it's definitely big enough for you to spend at least a good couple of hours maybe three Maybe four at max. I know the playthrough itself Was about nine to ten parts so it was pretty big But it wasn't DLC size big but for what was what it was worth what was there it was pretty satisfying so it adds in that there were no unique weapons, at least none that I could find, but the enemy types and the house that you get, which is pretty cool, as well as the new locations and the new quests were well done, so that's what it adds into your game. As for issues with this mod, I didn't encounter any issues. As you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of horror, but I definitely did like this regardless of what genre it was, because I could just tell there was a bunch of effort put into it and a bunch of polish. 
There was it was so well done. There was no issues. There were no bugs. There was nothing that was broken. Um, I know the only I guess to me there was one issue, but I wouldn't call it an issue uh, where you couldn't bring companions with you, which makes sense in the long term. But Sophia, the one of the mods I was reviewing, Sophia the companion, actually managed to get in regardless of whether or not they wanted companions in there. So I guess maybe it had something to do with Sophia's programming, but that's there weren't really any issues, you know, game breaking bugs or anything like that. So, you know, that gets a, it gets a check mark there for that. As for recommendations, uh, what kind of people would I recommend this mod to? I would definitely recommend it to anybody who's looking for an interesting quest, a fancy new player home, really cool story, who likes a kind of horror-esque feel, definitely someone like that. And would I just recommend it in general? Yes, it's not probably one of my favorite mods of all time, but it definitely impressed me. And I definitely could see myself adding this to my main playthrough. And keeping it actually because I think I'll just keep this one I don't think I need to remove it it was very well done and the place is nice and I could really use it for some machinima in the future so who knows maybe you'll see it in there uh, regardless uh, this has been clockwork I definitely recommend this mod to you guys you can check it out both links to both versions are down in the description and if you guys have any mods you want me to cover in the future let me know by reaching me down in the comment section through any of the links down in the description to my Twitter my discord or my email address and uh, yeah, this has been Infinity Break, reminding you all to say it with me now. Play well, eat well, and of course live well, friends. I hope you guys go out there and strive to break infinity. I hope you guys have a nice day, night, evening, wherever and whenever you're at. You guys take it easy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.